Good morning, Ames High. And welcome back to another year of monthly news updates from AHS Shout. And this time, we are in a real building. Like, there are walls and paint and carpet and doors, and it's so gorgeous. This month, we'll be taking a look at the new students joining our high school and how AHS works to make the change for them as smooth as possible. And we'll also find out a little bit more about this year's freshmen. We interviewed the extremely talented Eli Brashprince. And this year, Ames High is all about the dance and a few shout outs. All that and more on this month of AHS Shout. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Freshmen make up more than one fourth of our school. Yet, being only a few weeks into the school year, how well does Ames High really know the class of 2018? Hi, and welcome back to another school year. This year, we decided to get to know our freshmen a little bit better. I like to cook. Ames High freshman football team is going undefeated. I'm an artist. I like apples. So, we all play sports. We like, we like goldfish. goldfish. I love Blake Shelton. We, we like, like crabs. Crab. <laughs> I like French. I like to play sports. I like volleyball. I like chocolate. I'm very athletic. I, I like my friends. I love to play softball. I'm awesome. And I like to live life. Eli Brash Prince, musically inclined, athletically gifted, and a natural leader, we sat down with this outstanding senior of our school. I'm Eli Brash Prince, and I'm a senior at Ames High School. At Ames High, I'm involved in uh, student council, of course, key club, garden club, and uh, cross country and ultimate frisbee, as well as band and choir. Well, the role in student council for me and Stephanie, uh, I guess would just be mostly like communication between the students and the staff. Um, and then people can come to the meetings and talk to us about what we want to like talk to the staff about and what we want to change about the school. Uh, well, I'm the vice president of Key Club. I think this is our 25th year of Key Club at Ames High, and I've been doing it since my sophomore year. In Key Club, we do a lot of fundraising, like um, pancake day sales, and we sell assorted nuts during the holiday season. I think it's a good time, good way to get involved. Well, I've been involved in uh, percussion since seventh grade, and ever since ninth grade, I've been in the uh, Ames High Drumline, which is awesome. One thing about Drumline is that um, we have like a lot of extra practices that the band doesn't have, and it's really cool because everybody else in the band wants to be the Drumline, and everybody like in parades is like, that's the sweet Drumline. It's definitely the most BA part of the band. I've been singing for a long time. Once I got to the high school, Magical was definitely awesome and uh, musical. I just did last year, were really fun. Um, that, that's fun because also that's kind of like a smaller group of people and you get to really know each other and sing with each other and it's, it's a really fun time. The Ultimate Frisbee team is cool because I went freshman year expecting me to like, you know, throw around some discs, but then I got there and we started doing drills and I learned how to throw and catch and stuff and all these upperclassmen were really into it. And then all of a sudden, like we went to Chicago for a tournament and it was really serious, we placed well. It's, it's actually a competitive sport and it's really big in this part of the um, part of the country. And, like not a lot of people at the school are educated about it, but it's really fun and it's really a uh, really interesting sport. And I think a lot of people should do it. One of my favorite memories of Ames High is um, trying to find somewhere to eat lunch for the past two years. Uh, we ended, we've ended up in some weird places, like under stairwells and stuff, but uh, for the winter of sophomore year, Mrs. Anglekiss let us eat in her room every day. Uh, and each day we'd make a little more of a mess and a little more of a mess until it just got so bad she kicked us out and locked the room. Probably the best part of Ames High for me has been the music programs, being involved with choir, magical, um, musical, jazz band, marching band, concert band. It's, it's been great having all these activities uh, of stuff I like to do, singing and playing music, so it's definitely the best part. I'm Eli Bradge Prince and I'm a senior at Ames High School. Being a new student in Ames High can be hard, but the staff and many students here do their best to make it just a little bit easier. Not counting freshmen, over 80 new students arrived at our school at the beginning of this year. Some are open enrolling here and others are making the change from homeschooling. But the bulk of these new students have moved here from places all over Iowa, the United States, and the world. Navigating our bustling hallways, juggling a multitude of classes, and trying to maintain balance between schoolwork, extracurriculars, a social life, and of course sleep is difficult for any teenager, but it's extra challenging for those thrown into a new place. This is why student ambassadors exist. 
Before the school year had even officially begun, they had a day set aside to introduce all new students to our high school. The event included a welcoming by staff members and all the leaders of student ambassadors. Some fun icebreakers between students who will be in the same grade. Providing assistance to parents of these new students. And a tour of the high school. We talked to several of the kind souls that make up student ambassadors. It's a buddy program designed to help new students 10 through 12 throughout the year. Uh, we assist them with schedule issues, friend issues, make sure they're okay in the halls. The entire job is just to make sure that when a new student is um, coming to this district that they feel comfortable and they feel like they, can they have someone to approach if they have any problems. We also interviewed a few of the students who have had to adjust to life here at Ames High. I'm Jeremy Meyer. Before Ames High, I was homeschooled. The main differences would be in homeschooling, there's no pressure to get to class and you can travel at your own pace. I fear falling behind as I'm trying to figure out the school system. My name is Jude and I live in Jerusalem, Palestine. I'm staying here for one year as an exchange student. I'm doing this for like the experience and I know it's going to help me later throughout life with responsibility and just being independent. I see a lot of opportunities for like sports and um, different things. Back home in my school we only have basketball and soccer and here like you have literally everything. How can Ames High improve? Not be so big. <laughs> it's quite hard to like get to know people and meet new people because everyone's like, I feel like everyone's stuck or not stuck just with groups. Whoever I talk to is super nice and I feel like Ames High is doing a great job. Ames High, the struggle is real and even realer for those who are new. We welcome all students to the school we all share. Besides those new students, many Ames High schoolers are hosting Spanish exchange students who came here last week. AHS Shout and the rest of Ames High School gives them a big welcome. Ames High, if you haven't noticed, it's homecoming week. We've revved up the American spirit to an all-time high. We talked to our senior co-chairs about this year's theme. Our theme this year is Every Heart Rings True Neat the Red, White, and Blue. Um, we picked a patriotic theme because we just kind of wanted something different and not something that has been done before at Ames, so not really like a beach theme or night in Paris or something like that, so, yeah. Besides Saturday's homecoming dance, remember, out of school date forms are due tomorrow, there's another dance in the planning stages here at Ames High. As seniors Anna Ogilvy and Hannah Mum are working hard for Ames to host its own dance marathon, and remember Ames, it's for a good cause. Okay, dance marathon is a really cool thing. It's a celebration fundraiser for children's hospitals all across America. Usually colleges put on a 24-hour dance celebration but our Ames High wants to be a little bit different. Another reason we want to do this is give Ames High another activity that we can all rally around and support each other. Ames High's Dance Marathon will be Saturday, February 28th. We've been in touch with the Iowa State Dance Marathon and Spence is all on board, so we've got a lot of good resources and we've already start, started some planning. Um, we've had over 80 students express interest in helping us plan a dance marathon, which was super cool. If you want more information, just email either of us at our school emails. Or you can follow Ames High Dance Marathon on Twitter. It's the at sign, capital Ames, capital D, capital M. Thanks so much. Hope to see you there. That's it for this month, Ames High. But if you still have a craving for the delicious goodness that is AHS Shout, you can check us out online on Facebook and on YouTube. Or wait to get your fix during next month's broadcast. And until then, I'm Jill Zamolik. I'm Cub Stevens. And this has been AHS Shout.